Are you ready to do a little experiment with me here? Yeah, we're going to experiment just a little bit. Are you prepared for this experiment? Okay, now the second question, are you a Grubhub driver? Are you a self-employed Grubhub driver that, that is currently, or maybe this experiment that I'm going to have the opportunity to share with you this week will not only answer some of the questions that I have, but maybe, just maybe you're in a similar situation that I am in. Okay, the very first run of this video. <laughs> Just received a a new update. I mean, we get updates, what bug fixes, whatever. So the apps themselves sporadically. But with the iPhone, I, I don't know what they had an, an update. Maybe they had already done this with the Androids. I don't know. This is nothing about Android versus iPhone. I think a lot of people have gotten over that. I don't know. At least I don't care. Whatever works for you, right? You know. Okay, I just delivered that pin station. So I may have a moment. I hope I don't. I know that sounds rude. But I may have a moment to actually speak with you. And the reason why I state that is, well, because I'm scheduled, you know, in Grub Pub, I'm on the block, I'm hoping that another run comes in so I get rudely interrupted, so you and I can either head to this other place while I'm explaining this to you. So that's a hint, Grub Pub, that's a hint, you can interrupt me. They, they understand, so come on, cowbell. Now that, that's pretty cool, pretty cool. Too bad he didn't have more time. Go in here to the Red Lobster to pick up an order, this order, and there's somebody in there who is also a grubby hubby driver. He says, hey, I've seen you on YouTube. <laughs> I told him, I said, I'm actually working on a video right now, but he had to get going. Because I was, I was going to record him and, real quick and say, hey, how's it going for you? You know, something real quick, and, but couldn't do it. I thought it would have been cool. I would have been an official YouTuber to have someone else here. Just stop it and go, hey, but no one, you know, I was the original pandemic. <laughs> so stay more than six feet away from me. The whole purpose of this video is I want to do a simple experiment. I want to see if, if being back at a pro level status with Grubbob will help me earn some of the money like I used to, or anything hopefully, well yeah, the money first. Let me backtrack a little bit. Back late June, July, I started getting a little bit sloppy with the whole, you know, scheduling the blocks and then dropping them. Dropping them more than I should have. I'm probably declining more runs. Not as much as an issue as I was dropping blocks. You know what, I changed my mind. I don't want to do these five blocks in the near future and just drop them all. Let me put myself in the uh, driver's seat of this company. I am the owner of the CEO of Grubhub. And by the way, this is just me guesstimating, but you know, this is how I look at it if I was running a business. Okay, I've got a platform, three platforms, Premier Pro and Partner. You know, the folks that are on a certain level that showing that they wanna work, I'm gonna offer the work to them. However, there's other individuals that can't seem to make up their mind if they want to work or not. Hmm, what should I do? Should I offer the runs to these individuals that are showing me that they want to work? Or should I take my chances with these individuals right there? Because they're always dropping their blocks. They never can seem to make up their mind if they want to work at all. Now call me a hard ass, but that's how I do it. You want to work, I'll give you the work. You, I can't trust you. Well, Thursday's starting off great. My first run and I'm already on hold with Grub Pub's customer service because the order's messed up. I gotta share this. Don't you just love it when you see this? You see the nacho cheese Doritos, nacho cheese, and then we go mild sauce, mild sauce, mild sauce, mild sauce, mild sauce, mild sauce, sauce. packet, sorry. Look at all that. <laughs> 
Oh, the shredded chicken burrito. So somebody ordered a ton, a ton of mild sauce packets. <laughs> wow, that's just too good. So tell me, what do you think of this new feature here? Swipe to complete. Success. You know what I find actually probably more interesting about that feature? Yesterday, when I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm pretty sure I did. I don't remember where, if I did or not, even though I started working on the video. Ah, crap, hold on. Does this happen to you a lot? Yeah, I'm just picking up this order at Taco Bell. They hand me the, the the bag, as you can see, sealed. Well, somewhat sealed. Oh, I know, it's ready to pick up. Sticker. But before that, they hand you the beverage. And with the beverage, they hand you the straw. Okay, that's not a bad thing. But why on earth do you hand me the straw when you could have put it in the bag? I'm not, this is not my meal. They know I'm there for a grub pub order. Does that happen to you a lot? I, I could get it the bag was small, but that bag's not small. I guess creature by habit. I know I'm guilty of that as well. All right, Scott, stop acting like you're perfect. That you would have done the very same thing. Yeah. All right, I'll shut up now. This, this is pointless. No, 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 that's not what I'm not trying to do. I'm trying to stop the screen recording. You know, it's, it's difficult to do these videos. You try to pay attention to the road, pay attention to your phone, you know, make sure you you, you look sexy like I do. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's disgusting, I know. It's, it's multitasking like this, it's a challenge. In fact, it's so challenging, I forget what the hell I was talking about. So if you were ever wondering, what does it sound like driving through downtown Dayton on I-75 southbound? There you go. I'd give you the visuals, but you know, that's overrated here on YouTube. You know, everybody's watching things. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at that amazing drone shot. Ooh. The salt water. Oh. My G word. That's right. That's right. We're going to break it down in just a second here. Count me in now. Midlife losers out on the streets again with this camera recording all kinds of cool stuff. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We are going to cruise over one of 25 famous locations and here in Ohio that's right there's 25 of these bridges right here you've known as crybaby bridge right now I'm sitting we are sitting on crybaby bridge Let's see if we can hear any babies cry that wasn't a cry that was my window Me turn around because I really want to go back the other way. I myself and an old friend of mine came up here one particular night. We parked our cars near the bridge. In fact, it might have been basically right over here. Now, technically, some stories tell you you're supposed to park your car on Crybaby Bridge. There's so many different versions of it. But I'm going to try to be quiet here to see if we can hear any babies crying. Now, granted, it's supposed to be at midnight. Of course, here comes a truck. Who's stopping. You can't see him, but I can. But you're supposed to hear a baby uh, from a distance. I'm going to go across it one more time. We'll be real quiet, see if we can hear any babies crying or a particular baby crying. Come on, baby, cry, damn it. Did you hear that? Oh, the car's coming up behind me. Figures! <sighs> We're trying to get Cry Baby Bridge to work, damn it!
Oh. Well, here we are. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's the last day of this five-day GoPro driver. Did I say GoPro? I sure saw. Let me try this again. I, I got GoPro. GoPro. I got GoPro on the brain, apparently. Yes, it is the uh, last day of this uh, <laughs> Grubhub <laughs> Pro experiment. Yeah, it's a Sunday, and I'm... Uh, Yes, I have three hours scheduled block today. Yesterday, I only had two. I didn't take the camera with me. Why? Well, because I was not in the best of moods. After dealing with the issues of my phone, I'm not going to get into it. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to hear about it. If Hopefully, like everything else in the past when it comes to Apple and their reliable you know, customer service and fixing issues, it'll eventually be resolved. So, fingers crossed. Now tomorrow, which it won't matter to you because I'll just be mushing it all together, I'm going to wait till I get one more email. That way I can share with all of you what hours I've worked, how many I've done each day. For an example, I know Friday I didn't show anything because I was too busy goofing around over there on Crybaby Bridge. But Friday I do believe I had like 10 deliveries and I supposedly worked 5 hours. You know how it is if you do this. It'll say five, but you probably only worked four or three and a half hours. But that's great. You know, the way I look at it, for five hours and I made so much, well, you'll see it. You will see it, trust me. Because, I, like I said, I want to wait until I receive one more email. That way it has today's on the video as well. Because, obviously, I won't get that email until tomorrow. And I will also share my final thoughts. Is it worth being at a pro and obviously a premier level. So that all being said, let me shut the hell up. And oh, by the way, I'm wearing red in honor for the Cincinnati Reds. Yes, they're doing pretty damn good. And right now they're playing Minnesota. Well, they are. Well, wait a minute. This is a video about Grubhub, not about the Reds. Um, I don't want to jinx them. Midlife loser. All on the streets again. Trying to make some money to pay his damn bills. It's not happening. It's not happening. Cause the economy sucks Cause some stupid virus That's right You heard me say it Stupid virus, stupid virus, stupid virus Slider down and in. Polanco was not sure if he should get out of the way or swing. It started in the middle of the play. He started his swing and then realized oh, that might hit me. <laughs> yes. Is there straw in here? Yeah, okay, thank you. Well, that's a first. Somebody actually put the straw in the bag. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sticker says, I don't know if you can see this angle. It's in the bag. They used common sense here at Popeyes. Picking up a pizza. I'm a pizza delivery boy today. <laughs> There's one thing I want to bring up real quick. And I can say it now since it is Sunday. After five days of this incredible, amazing, pro-level experiment. Then turn right onto Brant Pike. I didn't turn right on Brand Pike. No, I do not want to set up. Oh, crap. I finally figured out a way to shut up Siri while I'm talking to you guys. And now I have to. I'm almost afraid to touch my phone, certain things, because, well. You know what? No, that's not what that. No, uh uh. I'm not going there. Proceed we, to the route. No, we're not proceeding to the route. We are proceeding to the route. That's what I thought. Interrupt me while I'm trying to talk to the. You know, the peeps. Well, I have finished my Sunday evening, which means I'm technically finished with this Grubhub Pro experiment. That's right, the five-day... Now, did I work 60 hours? No, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. I'll probably remind myself later as well. But yes, I'm finished with that. Tomorrow I'm waiting for another email so I can kind of completely wrap this up finally the end of this damn ridiculous video that no one's gonna watch <laughs> we're recording my final thoughts on this amazing that's right amazing grubhub driver pro experiment in my market well my regional marketing area 
Five days that I scheduled from Wednesday to Sunday that I was able to, thankfully, uh, for a total of 23 and a half hours, I did notice that I was busier, more successful at a pro level compared to the partner level that I was stuck at for like two and a half months. That being said, I would recommend to anyone that's a Grubhub driver, new or old, to keep yourself at a minimum acceptance rate of 85% or even higher, you know, at 95 if you want to be that amazing premier level driver for Grubhub. Let's face it, folks, you didn't sign up to be an independent contractor for Grubhub because you thought it was going to be so much fun and you're definitely not wanting to work for free because gas, well, it's not cheap. Not to mention the majority of Grubhub drivers, well, you know, including myself, we had to wait long enough to finally receive the good news from Grubhub. Hey, guess what? Your card's in the mail, including them bags. Yeah, it's on the way. Don't get me wrong. Starting off at a partner level or staying at a partner program level is not a bad thing, especially in a very busy or steady, steady regional marketing location. You should do well, especially if you know your regional area. Area. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, but I am willing to bet myself, including other YouTubers, have told you this time and time again, and I'll stress it even more. Keep in mind, if you daily, if you barely decline runs, you're going to find yourself at a pro level, possibly premier level, in a week or two. Now, I know not everyone is going to agree. Each and every single one of us is willing. You know, we're going to have our own opinions, a difference of opinion or theory when it comes to acceptance rates. There will be plenty that will say something like, well, I'm not going to accept practically everything Grubhub sends my way. Why in the hell would I drive five miles out of my way just to pick up a $9 order, then drive an additional 10 miles just to drop it off? Well, folks, this is when knowing your regional marketing locations pay off. If a delivery like this were to happen, and it will, trust me, this is when you got to think ahead like if you were playing chess. When a delivery like this either keeps you in a very good location or better yet takes you to even a better location, a 15 mile delivery for nine bucks could very well pay off on your next Grubhub order. Trust me, I use this method all the time and over 90% of the time, it definitely pays off. I, I can't tell you how many times I actually made over 28 bucks in that hour or half an hour. By the end of the schedule block, you're not even thinking about that $9 run you did for 15 miles. That's if you were busy or you were staying steady, of course. I prefer to stay steady and not work hard, if you know what I mean, dashers. Now, if you accept a $9 order at 15 miles and it takes you out of your way like bum F in Egypt, then you, <laughs> and then also an additional 10 miles just to get back into a healthy spot in your regional area, well, then you might want to decline that order. And last but not least, an order that pops up that's going to take you to a neighborhood you don't feel comfortable being in. Trust me, a few extra bucks is simply not worth it. Use your best judgment. Now, being a Grubhub driver compared to a Dasher, I find that I decline fewer orders no matter what program level that I'm at. Partner, Premier, Partner, Premier, Partner, Premier, Pro or Premier. <laughs> if you're working in a region where DoorDash is dominating, you know, with the Dashers, which I'm sure you are, it's pretty much everywhere. I'm telling you, folks, I definitely noticed a difference. Uh, as I was getting more offers at a pro level, maybe not every schedule block, but I can definitely notice a difference. Well, I, I, I did, even so far this week. I would highly recommend you trying to get yourself or staying at these two higher level programs. I also recommend not dropping any blocks. Learn from my mistakes, folks. Trust me, do not. Unless, unless you absolutely have to. Take the time to figure out your own personal schedule before scheduling any blocks. Remember, you have easy, easy access, early access, uh, scheduling your blocks every Thursday at 1030 in the a.m. on the premier level and every Friday at 1030 a.m. on the pro level. And also keep your attendance at 100 percent. I'm no expert when it comes to the attendance rate. I've always been at 100% even after dropping those blocks in the past. The only thing that I could think of, for example, let's say you're scheduled for a block between 5 and 8.30 and you don't bother logging onto your Grubhub driver app, you know, taking offers. 
Well, I'm assuming this will affect that attendance ordeal. It's got to be in a very negative way. Well, I hope this, uh, you know, Grubhub Driver Pro experiment was helpful. Most likely not. However, it did help me realize I'm much better off not dropping any blocks and try my best to keep my uh, acceptance rates at a minimum of 85% on a weekly basis. It's really not that hard. It's not like I'm wasting time and working for pennies, you know, so I could try to be that top dasher again for another month. Folks, if you like what you see here and you enjoy all my creative content, if you haven't yet, please, please hit that subscribe button down below. It's totally free, along with that notification bell. Why? Well, because it's obvious, duh. And a thumbs up and sharing this video will not only help me in this very small YouTube channel, it will help out others that are dying to find originality for once, and will help keep Grubhub drivers that might be looking for some advice or if anything, watching videos of mine will just allow all your dreams to come true. That's right. And that's the story I'm sticking to. Well, folks, that being said, remember to wash your hands, wipe your butt, and take very good care of yourself. Goodbye.